Hey everyone! So in this video we're going to continue talking about uh, my birthday trip, my weekend in Hollywood. If you haven't seen that first video I will link it down below but let's just get going. The next morning we wake up and we scheduled brunch at this really really nice place. It's called Seccioni's West Hollywood. Um, it's just kind of it's really close to like the Beverly Hills area so it's pretty swanky and what's funny is I was actually out there not too long ago by myself and um, I just randomly booked a reservation there. It was a Sunday brunch. This place was hopping. I mean, there were so many people there and you guys, the fashion, I mean, it, every single person there looked like they had just stepped out of the pages of Vogue. I was texting Steve. I was like, you would not believe this. It is crazy. There's no fresh air. There's only designer fragrance. There was definitely, you know, I, I was a little out of my element, but there was so much good people watching there. Um, I had this really great server who was keeping me entertained because obviously, like I said, I was by myself. So I was very, very excited to go back and I was like, Steve, now Steve and Caleb and I, we've actually been there before when Caleb was really, really little, but I didn't remember it being such a hot spot like it was when I was there. And so we go and, you know, it never fails, right? There was nobody there. So Steve doesn't believe me, but I was, trust me, this place can get hopping. But if you've never been to Seccioni's, it's really, really great. The food is delicious. Steve and I started out with the calamari fritti and it was served with lemon and a little bit of chili aioli. It was awesome. Very, very fresh, very tender. Um, just really, really great flavor. Very, very good. Highly recommend that one if you ever go. Little Man wanted the ricotta pancakes. It was blueberry, it was like lemon ricotta with a blueberry compote. And it was so funny. They placed it down in front of him. And it's not a kid's version. It was the full size. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's no way he's gonna eat it. You guys, he ate the entire thing. <laughs> All done. Wow. You ate that whole thing. That's one of the things I do have to mention about Caleb that's really, really impressive to me. Even to this day, you know, he just turned five. Never, never ceases to amaze me. You know, he likes plain pancakes. He really does with just like maple syrup, but he is so adventurous. He is willing to try everything. And I was a little like, I'm not sure how he's gonna like lemon ricotta, you know, with blueberry. Ate the whole thing. And for our entree, I have been raving to Steve about this burger for the past few months. It was the truffle burger with truffle fries. And that's all the description they give you because that's all you need. It is insane. So good. So it's like, how do you describe a burger? I'm so bad with describing food, right? But it's like, it's just, it's really well prepared. You can taste that tr uh, truffle and the fries are spectacular. So. I was in heaven, Steve, like I said, Steve didn't believe me. He wasn't super impressed because he was expecting a huge vibe, a huge thing. There was nobody there, but the meal was absolutely incredible. And after brunch, we went back to our hotel because that was our cabana day. Now you'll see in the next clip, we didn't really vlog too much, but we had a great time. And then right after that, I decided to take you guys on a hotel tour. Are you loving this? <laughs> so today is our cabana day. Forgive us, we haven't been uh, vlogging very much, but we are having a really great time. We are relaxing. Caleb is having a blast, having his cool day. And we've got, as I mentioned, we've, we're in the, I keep looking the wrong way, sorry. I'm on my phone right now, but we're in the cabana suite. So we're hanging out our patio. The pool is literally right there. It is awesome. Okay, so it has been a very fun day. Again, this is our cabana day. Caleb loves to swim. This day was devoted to swimming, cabana, relaxing, doing all that kind of stuff. Right now, Steve and Caleb are in the room. Caleb's taking a shower. It's probably getting, he's getting really tired. It's almost bedtime. But I thought this would be a really, really good time because the lighting is really nice. I figured I would take you on a quick little tour of this hotel and like just kind of give you guys an idea as to why we love it so much. So real quick, here is a look at the hallway in this wing of the hotel. Now we are not in the main building. As you can see, again, this is our room 113. Um, it is the cabana suite. So we are in like this like separate wing of the hotel. This is the hallway, but we're gonna go down this way to the main building where you can see, and it's so funny, it doesn't really look like much, right? Cause it is an old hotel, but um, I, 
absolutely love the artwork that is adorning these halls. Look at the, like look at this one for example. I just love this like kitschy retro throwback vibe. I don't think this is an actual like old timey photograph. I think this is a new photograph that is just made, you know, they dressed it up to look old, but it's so, I, I just love it. And these kind of photos are all over the place in this wing. Okay, this is the next day, but I'm just now noticing all the pictures have little things at the bottom so I can easily see this is actually a picture from 1960. So yeah, no, just read the signs, Mike. But I am going down this way because, um, like I said, we are just outside of the pool and I really don't, I'm not comfortable just like having the camera, waving the camera around while people are. Oh, here's another one. Look at this beautiful photo. I don't know, maybe, maybe it is real, I don't know. Maybe it is a real photo from that time period. I, I, I'm kind of thinking maybe with this one it is. But I'm really uncomfortable with taking the camera out to the pool where people are in bathing suits and stuff. You, you get it, right? So thus, we're going down this way. Um, it's, it's kind of like the unscenic route, I guess you could say. So coming into Holly Roosevelt, this is where you would enter if you were going to park your car or have it valeted. And then you would walk right into here and then go up these steps, uh, up these steps to the main lobby. But the check-in desk is actually just down here, right there. But here we are going up the staircase and you'd walk right in. This is their signature restaurant. This is called The Bearish. Steve and I actually dined here a long time ago when Caleb was really, really little. Here's a quick look at their menu. I think you can see all that. Um, like I said, it has been a minute since we've dined here, but I remember it being really, really good. So, but here is where we came in. Again, this is The Bearish and we just continue on this way. And now we are in the main lobby of this hotel. Check this out, you guys. Isn't this just one of the coolest spaces you've ever seen in a Hollywood hotel? Now up these stairs, this is a place called the Spare Room. This is a bar and um, okay, here we get the signage here. It says Spare Room, proof of vaccination required for entry. I think you can kind of see in there. This place has never been open when Steve and I come here, but it shows on their website that it opens at 8 p.m. and it's open till 2 a.m. Um, I don't think that's gonna work for us because I think little man's gonna go to sleep a little earlier than that. And yeah, so someday we will check this out. This is spare room right here. Come down these steps and you can walk right through here and you can see we are on the second floor of this lobby. Uh, it is just, it's just, amazing and you know it's funny i had to i have to admit i was gonna do this video in the morning we came down here first thing this morning for breakfast and there was absolutely nobody here but i kind of wanted to show you guys what it looked like when there was a little bit more of a vibe going on but steve and i have this ongoing conversation there is no way okay when the Disney Imagineers were getting their ideas for the Hollywood Tower Hotel, for Tower of Terror, they had to have come here, right? Like that just, just it just looks like that. Here is one of my favorite, you're gonna get lots of these moments in this hotel. Just these like empty hallways. It's like, I don't know where they go. I'm sure if you work here, it's like, it's a linen closet, whatever. But still, it's just like, like, come on guys, really? This is totally Tower of Terror vibes, right? This is the Blossom Room. This is a enormous door. I can barely even get the entire thing in the shot. Um, but yeah, you just all have these like little pockets throughout the lobby and throughout the entire hotel where it's just, I don't know, it's just, I just love it. I just, this hotel is such a vibe and it is totally the vibe that I love. And check this out, they even have like an old fashioned like mailbox. I don't know if it's actually like working right now, but nonetheless, just another one of the details that is just so amazing to see here. I love it. But just past the check-in desk, we are gonna go this way because this is where we are. This is where you're gonna find the pool, the fitness center, the spa, and um, this is where our cabana room is gonna be. But lastly, now we are back at our cabana. Again, this is, this is, this is the pool. I'm just gonna do a quick little pan. You can kind of see there's the pool, but you follow this walkway and we are right back to our room. 
So yes, we have made it back to our room. I hope you liked that little tour. Um, obviously, it was funny. I was like thinking about the footage. I'm like, I'm so like overhyped on this. But as you can see, I'm having a great time. I absolutely love this hotel. Um, yeah, I was really glad to share it with you guys. I hope you guys liked it. Okay, so one of the things I think we need, we weren't originally gonna talk about it because I was like, oh no, it ruined the video. Hey, oh man. Um, what in the middle, right in the middle of when we were trying to do the room tour. <laughs> What happened? Like we were literally checked in for like five minutes and yeah. what happened? Well, first off, it's just, we were so excited about this room. This is so amazing. We're so happy to be at this right. hotel. And then, bow, bow, bow. These lights are pretty cool. And let's see, just standard. Okay. I have a stomach. All right, Caleb's in the bathroom. He's like, what is that? Like, like, okay, so what happened? What happened? Okay, so. The fire alarm went off. We obviously were trying to get Caleb out of the room. He was going potty and it took some time, but we eventually got out and they turned off after probably like 10 minutes, but. Hey, calm down. And you, <laughs> hey, and you talk too loud, the alarm might go off and you talk too oh, loud. I'll, I don't think that's the I'll, case. I'll quieter. So anyhow. Yeah, but I just, I just thought it was funny. Like what are the odds? Cause we all know, hold on Caleb, hold on. I wanna, I'm, I wanna frame this right, okay? I'm gonna let you talk. I just think it's hilarious. We all know little man's obsession with fire. What are the odds that we check into the hotel and like five minutes after we're here, the fire alarm goes and he's, off? And he's in the potty, so he can't react. <laughs> like I expected him to be like, you come here, we can't go on here right, right now. I already know the escape plan, but you're a little bit mobilized at the moment. Yeah, so. yeah. hey, where's your alarm go off from? Dad. But hey, it, hey, but it was loud, huh? Was it loud? Yeah, where did it come from? Um, I think it came from the alarms out in the hallway. Do you want to show everybody where the fire alarms are in this hotel room? Okay, let's do it. There's one outside. There's one outside on, on the ceiling on the, on the roof. You are on, right. On, and on the ceiling is on the on safe. Yes, but let's let's just look at the fire alarms in, in this room. room. In our room. So right. where is the fire alarm here? It's right there. It's right there. Okay, yeah. yeah so if you stay in the cabana suite at Hollywood Roosevelt, there's your fire alarm. Yes. But I think there's more, right? What else do we got here? Hey, the smoke detector, it can detect smoke on there. The smoke and detector, yeah. Attack, and it makes it go off on fire alarm. Okay. And this smoke detector in the room, okay. it takes that one, oh, you okay. put that one, and it attacks that oh. one. And we got that one over there. Oh, yeah. there, there can we see it? Smoke, fire alarm. Yeah, I, Sorry. I got say, I got to tell you something. Okay. We won't go, I was being here when I was a little baby. You have been here before when you were a little baby, yes. I was in this room and when I was a baby, I wait for the alarm go off and it's so loud. Oh yeah? And you, and, and you have, and I was a big baby, you have to cover my ears. Uh huh. Yeah. And I was a baby, and and I and I was crying. What? Oh, oh my. Okay, but we're good now, right? Yeah. Jumping in here again real quick, because this next bit of footage, we had some audio issues. I thought we were done vlogging for the day, so I kind of took the camera apart. And so when I reattached the microphone, I don't think I did it right. But there was a knock on the door, room service comes in, and they do a champagne setup for us. This was a birthday surprise from our dear friend Cameron, Cam and Alex. I think you know him from Cam Mac Adventures, a really great friend of ours. This was so sweet, so nice, so unexpected, but very, very much appreciated. We got a really nice bottle of Moet Chandon. They gave us two flutes, and then they even provided us with a little box of Ladouri. I, I think I'm saying that right, Ladouri, Ladouri, macarons, French macarons. I love those little treats. This was amazing. I was telling Steve, this was like the chef's kiss for the perfect night in Hollywood. We had such a great day. This was amazing. I want to say again, thank you again, Cam and Alex. This was awesome. So as I mentioned, this was our final night in Hollywood. And the next morning we would get up, we would go to the lobby and have some breakfast. So it is now the next morning. Um, oh, I don't have my watch on, so I don't know what time it is, but um, we are, oh, he's already hiding, you guys. We came to the lobby to get some breakfast and I think he's already hiding. Oh, there he is. Caleb, what are you doing? 
so this is really cool. I didn't show you this last night because it was really, really busy, but this is actually a full service bar here, right in the lobby. But um, for breakfast in the morning, they have an assortment of pastries and fruits, yogurt parfaits, blueberry muffins, that kind of stuff. Like that? No, no. no. So no. we are just sitting no, here just relaxing. Me. And we already got some coffee. They're warming up our food right now. But yeah, so we're gonna eat here in the lobby. And as you can see, compared to yesterday, it's very, very quiet in here. And something I just noticed um, when I was just filming Steve, this is the hallway we went down um, yesterday afternoon. I just now realized this is like something, the writer's room. And it's a little hard to see, but I think that might be like a lounge. It's a little hard to see on the camera, but I can see like a bar here. Huh, that would have been a cool little spot. All right, so that was very, very good. Again, I had the egg, I think they called it egg pie. Yeah, you had egg pie. I had yeah. brioche with egg. And Caleb is slowly working on his croissant over right. there. Right, and I know I sound awful. I'm so tired, <laughs> but um, little man, he's been up since like 6 a.m. He just has so much energy. That's a nice open expanse of lobby. Hey, so. stay close, bud. Yeah. So, we're letting it happen. Yeah, the only thing I had a little issue <laughs> Is that he like took his flip flops off and then he just like raced over there and I was like so embarrassed. I'm like, put your shoes on. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. I had a hard time focusing in here. It's a bit darker in here, so. Yeah. But you know, this hotel, like, I'm not sure, you probably filmed this yesterday. There's like these little tiny like rooms. Yes. So like very like unique moments that this is called the writer's room. Mm -hmm. It's closed right now, but you can see in the window like there's some, I just like, showed him that. Yeah. liquor bottles. I'm like, I wonder what that is. Like, it looked like it was a bar. That's cool. And magically, someone just came over and unlocked this. I think they're just doing some service work in here, but we can have a little peek in. Look how cool this spot is. That'd be an awesome little place to have a nice little cocktail. All right, and now we are checking out. It's yeah. time for us to leave. It's always bittersweet leaving a uh, vacation like this. Yeah. Especially when you have a long travel ahead of you. So six hour drive, so yeah. let's get on the road. And that concludes my birthday weekend in Hollywood. As you saw, we had an amazing time. So much fun to fabulous dinners, to delicious lunches, and a cabana day that just made all parties of our family happy. This was, it, it was such a great time. I hope you can see why we absolutely just love Hollywood, why I love to go out there for my birthday. It is just a short little weekend getaway, but I mean, ugh, it, it's amazing. Well, I hope you like this video. I hope you like spending some time with us in a place outside of Disney. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy. Enjoy.